Hello and welcome to Let's Learn Computing. Today's tutorial is for creating a dress-up game with Scratch and it's for children aged 5 to 7 years old. First of all you need to make sure that Scratch is installed on your school network and that you've organized with the IT department how the children can save and retrieve their work. Alternatively you can go to the Scratch website and you can click on the create button to go to the online editor. You might also like to think about how this changing costumes activity relates to what you're currently studying in class. So you can firstly explain that each costume is a different picture and we're going to have an algorithm to tell the computer how to change to the next picture when the sprite is clicked. So the easy activities is that we're going to use the default cat on sprite and we're going to change its costume. So this is the scratch main screen and you can see that the program starts on scripts oh, and I've just clicked on costumes here to see the two different costumes and when I go over to here I can see the tools menu I'm going to go in here to click on color a shape and then you can see that there are different ways that it can be colored you can have the red on the outside, red on the right, red down the bottom or just no red at all, only the orange so when I hover the mouse over the top before I click it shows me an example of what it's going to look like when I click oh, like that then I can go to this costume and I can select some different colors so I'm going to make this one blue then click on the red and this one can be green color and color in all of the shape like this okay so now I need to go to scripts and the algorithm to change the costume when it's clicked is in the events menu and it's in this one when this sprite is clicked looks next costume there's only two blocks so when I click the sprite it goes to the next costume the medium level activities is to delete the cat and for children to select their own sprite because there are many available in the scratch program then they can use the duplicate tool to make a new costume. So to do that, you go to right click, delete, and then choose a new sprite from the library. And we can choose an animal and a dinosaur. Right, so this dinosaur, if I click on the costumes, doesn't have any other costumes built into the program. So I can right click and go to duplicate. You can see these are exactly the same. And then some, I'll give him a different color here, just plain purple for this one. And in there, if I wanted to see a bit closer for the sprite, I can click on the zoom button down here. Another activity I can do is to use the text tool to write a sentence. And that will appear on the screen. I can also select a different background by going to the stage menu which is to the left of the sprites. Click on stage, click on choose new backdrop from the library and then select a background. Okay so the challenge activities are to use the different range of drawing tools available and you can also encourage the children to have a look at the other painting mode which is called bitmap mode so we go back to here and we click on the sprite menu all right so you can see that this tool is to reshape so we can click on somewhere on the dinosaur if you want to make the if you wanted to make the tail a bit longer like that you can this tool is drawing, so we can draw in different colors. And if I wanted to change the thickness of the line it's drawing with, I can use the line width tool. And this tool this is for a straight line. And again, we can use the line thickness tool for that. And this one is for a rectangle. Two different options if you want a rectangle, which is just an outline or a solid rectangle. The same for a oval the text tool I've talked about already and to duplicate a whole section of the sprite hold the mouse button down and 
you can have two sprites at once. Now if children make a mistake while they're exploring these different tools, they can also always go up to here and go to the undo. So I'm going to undo all of those things that I've just done. The other option, which is actually an easier option for painting, is to convert the picture to bitmap mode. And you can see it's got quite a different, simpler menu over here. And uh, the shapes are similar. So it's a rectangle and an oval tool, text tool, painting tool, eraser, and also a duplicate tool. Okay, so an extra challenge activity is to get the children to create new sprites which are clothing for different parts of the main sprite and when they're clicked the clothing will change color. To do this you go to new sprite and paint new sprite and I'm going to paint a little hat for my dinosaur. So just a basic hat and the top of the hat. And then you can see I can place the hat on top. Now the script to change the color is slightly different from just go to next costume. We only need one costume for this. So we can go to events. When this sprite is clicked, looks, change color effect. And you can leave that at 25. And when you click that, it will change to a random color. So I've completed a few more costumes and now we're ready to have a look at what the final project looks like. To do that, we can use the full screen option, at which is the blue button at the top left. And then you can see that when I'm clicking on the dinosaur, it changes and the text I've done at the bottom changes. And when I click on the dinosaur's hat, that changes to a random color using the color effect tool. Other resources are to look on the Scratch website. There's many examples of dress-up games. That's the end of this tutorial. If you'd like to request a tutorial, then you can visit letslearncomputing.com. Or if you're in the Qatar area and you'd like me to do some training at your school, please also visit the website. Thanks for listening.